ट्राय धीज आस्क द एल्डर्स इन युअर फॅमिली टू टेक यू टू अ रिव्हर साईड ऑर टू अ लेक ऑर स्ट्रीम स्टुडंट्स हिअर इन युअर टेक्स्ट बुक व्हेरी नाईस पिक्चर इज गिवन ऑफ रिव्हर साईड ऑब्झर्वेशन अँड इट इज आस टू यू टू मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द लिव्हिंग थिंग्स यू सी दिअर इफ यू डू नॉट नो द नेम्स ऑफ एनी ऑफ द लिव्हिंग थिंग्स यू सी मेक a note of them describing their shape color sound shelter etc or draw their pictures count how many types of living things you see and it is asked to you to repeat the activity near your house in the school or any other field my dear students as it is lockdown period and you could not go outside of your home Here is a nice video for you where you can observe many living things and you can do this activity by watching this video I am just adding this video here you can watch this video nicely right from starting to end and complete your activity in your notebook can you tell in the course of your observations did you notice any signs of the presence of living things though the living things themselves were not seen for example did you notice any partly eaten fruits or shells fallen feathers animal tracks dung droppings nests cocoons eggs honeycombs etc different types of living things are seen in different places some signs of their presence is seen sometimes even if these living things are not seen themselves 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल पार्टली इटन फ्रूट्स शेल्स फॉलन फिदर्स एनिमल ट्रैक्स डंग ड्रॉपिंग्स नेस्ट कुकुन्स एग्स हनी कॉम्स एक्सेट्रा आर नोटिस्ड ड्यूरिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन्स पार्टली इटन फ्रूट्स कैन कन्फर्म दैट देर वेर स्क्वरल्स मंकीज और सम फ्रूट्स ईटिंग बर्ड्स फ्रॉम द फॉलन फिदर्स वन कूड गेस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ बर्ड्स दैट विजिटेड द प्लेस वी कैन ऑल्सो गेस फ्रॉम द एनिमल ट्रैक्स पग मार्क्स डंग और ड्रॉपिंग्स कूड यू ऑब्जर्व एनी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स विथ अ नेकेड आय वी नीड ए माइक्रोस्कोप टू कन्फर्म दिज सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल to observe microorganisms directly during observation how many types of living things did you see at the places you visited virtually do you think you saw all the kinds of living things that belong there did you see the same living things at various places or different ones the variety we see in all the living things that belong to a particular area is called the biodiversity of that place which one of the places you visited shows greater biodiversity greater biodiversity is seen in the areas in and around forest the places with lesser interaction with human beings have greater biodiversity to study the biodiversity of a place scientists make a large number of observations they make these observations in different conditions such as day and night in different seasons etc they use special devices to make observations of living things that are found at great heights or depths as well as of microorganisms observation of many scientists are brought together and studied again only when all such efforts are made over a long period of time can we be sure of the biodiversity of a place the environment the surroundings and the conditions in those surroundings which affect the life of the organisms there are together known as their environment it includes many components such as sunlight air water soil plants and animals etc look at the pictures of the living and non living things shown in the picture here discuss the mutual relationships between these various factors of the environment in this picture we can see living things which feed on grains and worms like birds crane and duck insects which feed on leaves of plants like worms grasshopper reptiles which crawl on the land like snake and salamander rodents like mouse which stay in burrows deep in the ground herbivorous animals like cow elephant which eat grass carnivorous animals which feed on herbivorous animals like tiger aquatic animals like fish scavengers which feed on dead remains of animals like eagle we can see a protruded tree trunk which is decomposed by microorganisms we can see sun which is the main source of energy evaporates water from the earth surface which forms clouds clouds which bring rain and this rain water is collected in water resources which will be used by all the animals this discussion concludes that living and non living things are depend on each other there is a lot of give and take or interaction between them environmental science studies these interactions